everybody, today we'll be talking about Nikola Tesla and we will be looking on his biography. So in this presentation you'll be seeing literally everything you need to know about the legend and we will also be talking about the controversy with Thomas Edison and Nikola himself. So before we start, at the end of the video there will be the answer to a joke that I thought was quite clever. The question is, what is the most terrifying word in nuclear science? See if you can guess it up until then. And so let's just touch upon him. Here's a little fact about him. Albert Einstein, as we know it, was one of the most smartest people on earth. And once when he was asked the question, how does it feel to be the smartest person on earth? His answer was that, I don't know, you, you have to ask Nikola Tesla for that one. So that is how smart this person was. Now the table of contents. First we'll be looking at some facts about him. Then we'll, looking at, we'll be looking at his childhood. Then we'll be looking at his adult life. And then we'll be looking at his death. Some quotes by him and the controversy. Number one, the facts. These are just some of the most interesting facts about Nikola Tesla. Plus, get ready to be surprised. You'll be seeing this sentence in literally all of the slides. Facts about Nikola Tesla. Number one, Nikola Tesla was actually born during a thunderstorm. How cool. Number two, Tesla lit up the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. That is amazing. Fact number three, first Nikola worked for TE, which stands for Thomas Edison, later became his competitor. Wow. Number four, Tesla developed the idea for smartphone technology way back in 1901. That just tells us how smart the man was. Number five, Nikola Tesla had huge dislike for pearls to the extent that he wouldn't even talk to women wearing pearls. Number seven, Tesla visualized his inventions in his brain and they were 3D. Some people also like to say that he had a photograph photographic memory. And like this one says, Nikola had a photographic memory and an IQ of around 160 to 310, the way you measure it. Number set two, birth slash youth. Now we'll focus on Nikola Tesla's childhood and what his youth was like. So Nikola's childhood. Nikola Tesla was born on 10th July, 1856 in Smoljan, the Austrian Empire, now, now in Croatia. Uh, by the way, Smoljan was not a very um, big town. It was a small, smallish village. Nikola Tesla had quite a setback childhood, meaning it wasn't necessarily a very charming and perfectly set out childhood. He witnessed many things that nobody would want their children to witness. Some say that this may have factored in him being the genius he was. There have been many theories and controversial comments on his intelligence, but the facts are that his childhood was marred by the death of his older brother a difficult relationship with his parents and a serious illness at age 12. Despite his own genius, a characteristic Tesla processed that made him well liked was his ability to recognize talent and to praise others. This is a photo of him when he was around nine. This is a baby photo of Tesla. And this is a family photo. Try guessing which one of these people is Nikola Tesla. I'll give you five seconds for it. Time's up. The answer is this one. Yep, he was a bit far away from the others, but this is Nikola Tesla. Did you get it right? Like if you got it right. Number three, the adult chapter. Ever wondered what Tesla did in his adult life? Well, a lot, so get ready to be surprised. 
Throughout Nicola's childhood, he faced a lot of challenges, and that wouldn't be the only time he would be facing challenges, as we can see in this part of the video. Serbian-American inventor and engineer who discovered and patented the rotating magnetic field, the basis of most alternating current machinery. He also developed the three-phase system of electric power transmission. He immigrated to the United States in 1884 and sold the patent rights to his system of alternating current dynamos, transformers and motors to George Westinghouse. In 1891, he invented the Tesla coil, one of his most inv uh, famous inventions. An induction coil widely used in radio technology. Training for an engineering career, he attended the Technical University at Graz, Austria, and the University of Prague. At Graz, he first saw the Gram Dynamo, which operated as a generator and when reversed, became an electric motor, and he convinced a way to use alternating current to advantage. Later, at Budapest, he visualized the principle of the rotating magnetic field and developed plans for an induction motor that would become his first step toward the successful utiliza utilization of alternating current. In 1882, Tesla went back to work in Paris for the Continental Edison Company. And while on assignment to Stra Tra Strasbourg in 1883, he constructed after work hours his first induction motor. Tesla sailed for America in 1884, arriving in New York with four cents in his pocket. Yes, four cents. A few of his own poems and calculations for a flying machine. He first found employment with Thomas Edison, but the two inventors were far apart in background and methods, and their separation was inevitable. In May 1888, George Westinghouse, head of the Westinghouse Electric Company in Pittsburgh, bought the patent rights to Tesla's poly polyphase system of alternating current dynamos transformers and motors. The transaction precipitated a, t a titanic power struggle be between Edison's direct current, DC, systems and the, and the Tesla Westinghouse alternating current approach, AC, which eventually won out. Tesla soon established his own lab laboratory, lab, where, he, where his inventive mind could be given free reign. He experimented with shadow graphs, similar to those that later were used were to be used by Wilhelm. I'm not going to pronounce the last name because I don't want to offend anyone. When he discovered X rays in 1895, Tesla's countless experiments included work on a carbon button lamp, on the power of electrical reson resonance, and on various types of lighting. Now it's only two pages, there are a few left, and we can already see how this man had such a genius mind. In order to allay fears of alternating currents, AC, Tesla gave exhibition, exhibitions in his lab, laboratory, in which he lit lamps by allowing electricity to flow through his body. He was often invited to lecture at home and abroad, the Tesla coil, which he invented in 1891, is widely used today in radio and television sets and other electronic equipment. That year also marked the date of Tesla's US citizenship. Westinghouse used Tesla's alternating current AC system to light the world's Columbian Expo Exposition at Chicago in 1893, the one we talked about earlier. This success was a factor in their winning to contract to install the first power machinery at Ni Niagara Falls, which bore Tesla's name and patent numbers. The project carried power to Buffalo by 1896. Number four, death. Now, will we, now we will see how, why, where, and when Nikola Tesla said goodbye to the world. 
This is quite the question, by the way. Again, get ready to be surprised. Nikola Tesla died of a heart attack in 1943 at the age of 86. He was alone in his room in the New Yorker Hotel and his body was discovered two days later when a maid pushed past his do not disturb sign. The FBI seized Tesla's belongings in fear that he genuinely had conceptualized some new and exotic weapons. He died in New York City in January 1943. Tesla's work fell into relative obscurity following his death. Until 1960, when the General Conference on Weights and Measures name measures named the SI unit of magnetic flux density the Tesla in his honors. After Tesla's death, the custodian of alien property impounded his trunks, which held his papers, his diplomas, and other honors, his letters, and his laboratory notes. These were eventually inherited by Tesla's nephew, Sava, again, I'm not going to pronounce the last name, and later housed in the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. Hundred, hundreds filed into New York City's Cathedral of St. John. The divine for his funeral services and a flood of messages acknowledged the loss of a great genius. Three Nobel Prize recipients recipients addressed their tribute to one of the most outstanding intellectuals of the of the world who paved the way for many of the technological developments of modern time number five quotes by nikola tesla ever wondered what tesla talked about or was it just me again get ready to be surprised the first one is Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. This new world should be the world in which the strong wouldn't exploit the weak. The bad wouldn't exploit the good. Where the poor won't won't be humiliated by the rich. It will be the world in which the children of intellect, science and skills will serve to the community in order to make lives easier and nicer, and not to individuals for gaining wealth. This new world can't be the world of humiliated, the broken, but the world of free people and nations equal in dignity and respect for man. Mankind, not man or woman. If you... If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Perhaps I failed, but I did my best. The day science begins to study non-physical pneumonia, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Of all things, I liked books best. Controversy. Ever wondered what the hassle with Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla was? Plus, get ready to be surprised. Controversy of the two currents, AC and DC. And, in a way, we are also talking about Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Now, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison were no strangers to each other. As a matter of fact, when Nikola Tesla first migrated to the US, he worked and patented for Thomas Edison. Some may even say that the two waged the currents war. The two feuding geniuses waged a war of currents in the 1880s over whose electrical system would power the world. Tesla's alternating current, AC system, or Edison's rival, direct current, DC electric power. Tesla was as much a man of the people as a man of science, producing a string of startling innovations and plotting to provide free electricity to the masses. While Edison stayed up nights stealing Tesla's inventions, building monopolies and murdering elephants. To explain this part in full sentences and the elephants part, we'll need to make a whole different video. 
So like, subscribe and share so that I'll be able to make that video to help you better learn Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison's controversial relationship. Here are just a few photos. Again, Nikola Tesla, inventor that created renewable energy and cared more about people than making money. Thomas Edison, wealthy businessman who created a way to charge money for electricity and methods to control energy resources. Guess which one your textbooks never talked about. Now in this part, we are not trash talking um, Thomas Edison in any possible way. They were both geniuses and they, we, we should respect them both equally. And here's a photo that I think described it quite well. Now for the joke. What is the most terrifying word in nuclear science? Three, two, one, go. Oops. Imagine hearing a nuclear scientist saying the word oops. Wouldn't that be terrifying? And thanks for watching.